there I'm ready to go I'm going to get a small brush and I'm just going to use some watercolour paints um, just to put in some background colours I think um, there's a lot of black in this picture but I'll, I'll start with just put some blue into the window I think start as if I'm putting the sky in now I think Probably going to work over the top with pencil crayon later, but it's just nice to get a bit of colour on there to get you started. Wet my brush again, sort of spread the colour out, make it look quite sky like. I go over the frame actually, and then put some water on first, all over. And then put a little bit more paint on that. Spread it through the water. And it's nice and sort of light and sort of transparent like a real sky. Not a solid block of colour. See my paper's sort of swollen up a little bit. So before I do any more to that bit, I'll let it dry for a few minutes and the paper will sink back down. I'm going to leave the sky sort of uneven. Um, I might do some in pencil crayon as well, but let's just go for, I've got exactly the right green here. I can Fluff it up on my palette. This is like a jade green. Let's get that going with my brush. And then probably need a smaller brush actually. That one's a bit big. And there we go, that's better. And I'm going round and round on my on, on my paint. If you have a look if you can see. Go round and round. Really get activate that paint so it's nice and syrupy. That's a word a lot of my students know. There we go. That's good to go. Now on here on the picture. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm, I'm planning very carefully where this colour is going to go. I don't want to get it in the wrong place. So I'll count it out one, two, three, about three little petal shapes. Stir in the lines if you can. Work your way up to the edges. I've got this stick down, there's no good stick down. Uh, here we go. So I can turn my paper around and come at it from different angles. Always make sure your hand feels comfortable when you're painting. So pick up a bit more water, reload my brush with paint, look for the next shape, then the top one, and the next two shapes are oops, down the side. The petal shape there, I think. Yep, check. Put too much water on there. Too much water on just touch a tissue with your brush tip of your brush and it'll suck out the spare paint and let's see the shape it's the big loopy shape i think so there's a red one it's this one here Okay. I think that shape is 
probably a little bit bigger, so I'll just adjust it. So again, I think that's better, I like that better. And then down at the bottom, checking out these little shapes here, I don't know if you can see them on your screen. I'm just going to paint those in. Um, this one here, oh, I've got the right colour. Just give it a little bit more paint in there. I'm all silent on you, but that's because I'm concentrating. I have to think what I'm doing. Uh, yep. Now I'm going to leave black to the absolute last. In fact, I might put the black on with pencil crayon right at the end because I think that will make it pop off the page. Make it all exciting, but I don't want to do it too soon because you can't really paint over black. Um, it's got to be sort of the last colour that you do. So if I do everything else first, and if I need to cover anything up, I can do it with the black. Uh, I'm going to stop there because I think that bit's wrong. I haven't drawn it correctly. All that bit, so I'll just leave it for a minute. I oh, know that's black actually. That's Oh, well, that's black. I have done it right. I just haven't done that bit big enough, I think. So make that bit bigger. And that bit a bit bigger. Right, now, time for a break. And just let that dry for a few minutes before I come back and do a little bit more. I started to fill in some of the shapes with pencil crayon so that I can get a nice um, sharp edge my shapes and some of them are quite tiny and detailed so if you sort of look I don't know here this point and things like that they're quite hard little shapes to um, do with paint so I'm using it mixing my media I'm going to use pencil chrome for those bits and then for all the black shapes I'm going to try again to use paint uh, some little bits are still doing pencil chrome like the crossbar on the window Going to do that with pencil crayon, black pencil crayon, and perhaps in that little shape there, black pencil crayon. What you've got to look out for is around the edge of all these shapes. If I show you the picture we're copying, uh, you can see there's some white lines around here. So for that, I'm going to try and leave a little bit of the raw paper showing through, the white paper that I'm working on. So I've got to paint and, and colour really carefully to leave that little white edge because that sort of uh, outlines the pattern and makes it stand out. So that'll be tricky but I've got my combination, paint and the bigger bits and then again pencil crayon if I find it's too hard to leave those spaces. Um, I still haven't worked out whether these are onions, lemons, uh, no idea what they are. But anyway, it's a bowl of fruit, so just make it look fruity. Okay, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> 